Greetings, and welcome to episode 63. In today's episode, I'll be talking about crystals. I had a completely different show lined up, but I just happened to take my daughter to the Renaissance Festival over the weekend, and I bought my very first crystal. It's pretty cool. And I'll tell you the story and get into a little bit about crystals. As much as I know, I don't claim to know it all or everything, but I know a little bit. So, if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, crystals. Well, first let me explain this uh, Renaissance Festival. I'm not sure how they do it everywhere else in the country. As a matter of fact, I've been to, I think, two others in two other states. And I don't mean like I've only been to two. I mean I've been to two others in two other states. And it's just a, a small little gathering. And it's really cool. But it's not like what they do here in, in Arizona. Uh, just outside of Phoenix in Apache Junction. They have, it's like out in the middle of the desert, they have a whole town built to look like old world England and, and they've got uh, people in costume and they've got stores and shops and this and that and it's really awesome. And like I said, I took my daughter there for her birthday and uh, I was on a mission and my wife is the one that brought it to my attention. You know they sell crystals here. And I'd, I've always wanted to buy one. I've seen other videos on crystals and and what they're good for and this and that. And uh, so we were on a mission and we're going to go find crystals. So we went around just about the entire thing. And about halfway around, ah, I'd say about two-thirds of the way around, we finally come to a shop that has crystals. And they only had four left. And... I remember some of the videos I watched, they say, the crystal chooses the owner, or the human, or whatever, or what do they say in Harry Potter, the wand chooses the wizard, <laughs> and I have to say that I was skeptical about that, and it turns out that that is 100% true. Now, let me, let me set this, this up visually for you. So the booth, I'm not in front of the booth, and it's not really a booth, it's like a building, and this is one of the storefronts, uh, but some of it, the storefront sticks out a ways, and I'm not in the front, like here's the front over here, I'm on the side over here, this is where the crystals were, and there was four of them, and I remember, that's the first thing that came to my mind was that the crystal picks you, well I saw the one I would have wanted, and then I saw the rest of them, and it was the first one I grabbed. And I put it in my hand, and I didn't just grab it and say, I want this one. I put it in my hand, and, or no, it was this hand, actually. I put it in my hand, and nothing. But all the crystals were in the shade, and they'd been in the shade for a couple of hours. But the sun was, like, just... Back away, so I lifted them out into the sunlight, and I swear to God, it shocked my fingers. Just the tiniest little bit. Like, you take an electric lighter, you take the little electric part out, and you snap it. That's what it felt like. But not like in one spot, just like crackles all through my fingers. And I was like, whoa. And I didn't get that reaction from either of the other three. And I did the same thing. Put them in my hand. And like, didn't grip them, just let them rest on my fingers and pulled them out into the sunlight. And nothing. And so I was like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and so I'm all giddy and I run over and I grab my wife and I'm like, yeah, they got crystals over here. Come on, quick. Because I only got four left. <laughs> so we go over there and I, I tell her the one that I'm getting, the one that picked me, which is awesome because it was the same one I wanted. Well, she does the same thing, I, and I told her, I said, the crystal picks the person. I said, put it in your hand and put it out in the sunlight. And the one that picked her got really warm in her hand, she said. <laughs> so I was like, well done. So she, she, she got one, and I got one, and I would have been probably really disappointed if I hadn't, been, if I hadn't gotten picked. 
Hmm. <laughs> and I know I seem really excited. Like I said, this is my first crystal ever, and I've always wanted one. I just, A, never quite know where to go get them, and I'm skeptical about buying them online because of the whole crystal picks the owner. And I've heard stories of when the crystal's done with you, it'll leave, like it'll just vanish on you. <laughs> and I didn't want that to happen, so that's why I've never ordered one online, because I wanted it to be able to pick me. So, it picked me, I picked it, we paid for them, and uh, I've had this just giddy vibe ever since, and I'm not sure it's from me, because this thing seems alive I swear to God it and you, they say that in the videos and it sounds at first you know I'm not I'm not super skeptical but some of the stories you hear you're like uh yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> let's just say I don't say hey yeah whatever anymore I mean this crystal picked me I did not get a reaction at all from any of the other crystals at all and it's just been like vibrating appreciation so I've been trying to send it back to the crystal and I even gave it a name fancy well <laughs> yeah see now I sound super cheesy but you don't believe me go let a crystal pick you and see what happens <laughs> I mean super super charged vibes from it and just my abilities it just it's like an amplification system this little bitty crystal is like <laughs> <laughs> oh man it is awesome and I'm glad it picked me and I'm very appreciative and it like I said it feels like it appreciates me also and just the different things I've read and heard that you can do with crystals uh, healing uh, focal points for meditation for uh, setting intentions or casting spells it's just yeah I don't know what I ever did without one I mean it's it's I swear it's it's alive I swear yeah, I swear it it is alive it was sending me vibes before I sent it any energy And I believe me, I really super duper appreciate it. And I feel, what's the word? Appreciative. <laughs> I guess I already said it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess we always remember our first crystal. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, it was so profound, I decided that that's what today's episode was going to be. It wasn't going to be on that. I was going to, I got into the Kundalini energy the other day and I was going to get into the rest of the chakras and and then later move into the, the rest of the chakras because we know about the main seven, but we don't know about the other 73. Those are located primarily in the brain. But yeah, there's energy centers all over the place. But mainly people like to focus on the, the main seven that run up and down the body. But there's even more up and down the body. Those are just the primaries. So I've been told. But yeah. <laughs> Profound moment. <laughs> uh, and I have to say, uh, this little fella, little lady, because it's got a feminine energy to it. This little lady changed my mind about a lot of things. I have to say I was super skeptical about the stories, about it picking you. But I went along with it, and I, did, and I went through with that, and it picked me, and it let me know that, yeah, you! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't just, hey, you, tap, tap, tap. No, it said, you, right there, come here! <laughs> Oh, and my wife's is a little more subtle. It was like, yeah, I'll go with you. <laughs> it just got warm in your hand. Mine shocked me. <laughs> I hope it didn't mean, no, don't touch me. 
Because <laughs> if it meant that, then I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but yeah, none of the other crystals reacted to me, and I, yeah, became an instant believer in all of the tales I've heard about how crystals pick who they're going to go with. And I'm hoping, oh, and I know that all relationships come to an end eventually, but I'm hoping this one chooses to stay with me for a while because it feels good to have it around. And like I said, it's my first one. And for all I know, I'm its first human or her first human. I feel bad calling it. Oh, see, it's a whole, there's a whole story there. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I have slept with this around my neck since I bought it. I bought it, today is Monday, I bought it on Saturday, and just a deeper restful sleep, dreams, I haven't, I don't dream that often, I used to dream every night, and no offense to my wife, but ever since we got married, I don't dream anymore, and just strong vivid dreams for the last couple of nights and uh, yeah waking up feeling restful feeling or should I say feeling very rested even after just a couple of hours of sleep oh yeah <laughs> I'm very pleased very very pleased I suggest that if you don't have a crystal or crystals, you go out and get one or many. But see, I don't know how it would affect this crystal to go out and get other crystals. I can tell you that this would be my primary crystal, regardless of how many crystals I bought. Or regardless of how many crystals chose me. But like I said, it was really, I was, I was amazed that I didn't get a reaction from any of the other. It's like they were like, Phew. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> nothing. No reaction, no warmth, no sh no electricity, nothing. It was just like holding just any other object in my hand, even in the, putting it out in the sunlight. But this one, yeah. And I've gotten it the 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 distinct sensation that it's trying to get to know me and that it really like it cares about me. And I've never felt you know how you oh, I love my car, but you don't feel like your car loves you back. Well I guess some people do. I do. But I'm a weirdo. So but you love something, an inanimate object, but you don't feel like it loves you back. I'm not getting that from this. As a matter of fact, like I said, I felt uh, that feeling of appreciation from the crystal before I started projecting onto it. Because I was that, that, that feeling you get when you buy something new that, oh, I'm so pleased and I love it and I like it and blah, blah, blah. Well, instead of just releasing it into the world, I was releasing it directly into the crystal. And it just was like, mm. <laughs> when it reflects it back it's like it's phenomenal and I don't think that anyone who experiences that their first crystal can experience something like that and remain unchanged it was very, very profound, and I'm not, I don't think I'll ever be done with this crystal, but if it chooses to be done with me, so be it. It even hurt to say that. <laughs> Fancy is her name, and uh, I'm going to get her a better necklace than what the one that, because this came on a nylon cord, and I've got leather strapping and I'm going to make it a better better necklace than than what I have here raise it up just to, just a touch so it's right at the heart instead of down underneath of it <clears throat> yeah I'm uh, like I said I'm very 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 pleased with this 
and uh Wow, where, how, where do I start? I mean, I've heard that you could be placed, if you have, uh, like, say, a crystal for each of the main chakras, you can charge them in the sun, and you try to get a crystal that is the same color as the corresponding chakra you place it under, but place these not under the sheets, but under the mattress itself in those locations and you know general location you don't have to pinpoint exactly where you would be and they're supposed to recharge your chakras that is to say if you let it charge in the sun otherwise I could, would assume that it's going to deplete your chakras because these they run on energy and if it can't get its energy like a plant can't get its energy it's going to wilt well this has the capability of drawing its energy from you so if you're wanting to increase your vital energies, the last thing you want to do is deplete your crystals and then try to get them to charge you up because it's going to use you to charge it up. <laughs> but yeah, I need to spend like an hour or so in the sun because it feels pretty depleted. It's like having a new child. That's what it feels like. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> I highly recommend that everyone that watches these videos, if you have not yet gone out and got new crystal, go out and get one. Another meditation or charging technique is instead of sleeping on them, under the mattress you can just do uh, like a quiet meditation where you lay and have somebody place the crystals at your chakra points and then charge that way that would probably work excellent if you were out in the sun doing it same thing like wow I'm like coming up with all these ideas on how to properly use a crystal <laughs> And I just got it, and I don't know that much about crystals, but all these ideas are coming to me. Oh. I want to buy more crystals, but I'm afraid my crystal will get jealous. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> That's a human trait. Let's, let's hope that's a human trait because I would like I would like to experiment with crystals because I know that if you have a larger crystal you can use it to charge your other crystals so you don't have to maybe drag all of your crystals outdoors you just get a main crystal for charging mm-hmm mm-hmm but at this point, I've only had it out in the sun for like 5 or 10 minutes, not including the drive home, because I work nights. Yeah, most of the time I work nights. So I'm mainly up when the sun is down. So I've been trying to keep it charged with my own energy, just because it's like the interaction is just phenomenal. I just never thought that something so tiny could have such a profound effect and inanimate at that it's not as though it's like you can feel how important this could possibly be to your life you can feel it well not this to your life but if you get one how important that will be to your life <laughs> because I'm not sure how this crystal will be important to your life other than the fact that I bought one and now I'm speaking the praises of crystals. <laughs> yeah. You think you know yourself. Haha. <laughs> you think you know yourself until something else happens and you learn a little bit more about yourself. I've learned that little tiny things make me happy <laughs> or cause my happiness to increase I was already happy but having this little fella makes it just just awesome 
Now, I don't know if you'll all have the same cool story that I have. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was skeptical about the stories that I've heard about them. Oh, it picks you and all oh, the energy is just awesome and blah. No, I can't dispute it. I can't refute it. I'm 40 years old and I can say nothing has ever had this kind of effect on me like this. Nothing. Just this. Debating on whether or not that's a good thing. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But now it's put me in the mind to seek out my local crystal crystal merchants and see uh, see what they have to offer or see if I have anything to offer their crystals ha ha I am not new to the path but I am definitely new to crystal work and uh, any tips and pointers would be greatly appreciated but bear note to the publication date of the video because if it's too far past the, the date I publish this video that you're posting a response, I might, might have, or should I say may have, learned quite a bit more than I know now. I know next, I'm not going to lie, I know next to nothing about crystals other than what I've seen. And you really don't know until you experience it yourself. Now, that, that's why I'm so getting on the the introduction process because I experienced that it was very it was real it picked me <laughs> I watched my wife pick her it's uh yeah it's very real the introduction process is very real uh, I cannot say if you're gonna have a profound if it's gonna have a profound effect on you I can tell you that just just having it I haven't tried anything with it no meditation no Ooh, excuse me, no energy channeling. All I've been doing since I bought it is filling it with the appreciation I have that it chose me. That's all I've been doing. And in return, I feel a higher energy state. I feel, I've slept better. I've even dreamed more. And this is the only thing I can attribute it to. And people can say, oh, that's coincidence. Yeah, you could say coincidence, but that's a hell of a coincidence that when I moved it out into the sunlight, it shocked my fingers. Now, that's a coincidence. Or it's not. <laughs> or there's more to life than what we give life credit for. And I'm willing to say that that's what it was. Because in 40 years, I've never had anything like that happen. And don't think I, I didn't walk in there like, ah, this is going to work. I walked in there skeptical. I had no idea what I was supposed to be looking for in the introduction process. I had no clue. He said that all they said was, it picks you. <laughs> Mine didn't pick me the way my wife's picked hers. It didn't just turn warm in my hand. It shocked me. And it was like a, <laughs> like excitement wasn't like it didn't it didn't give me the sensation of put me down leave me alone but hey how you doing <laughs> at least I hope that's what it was <laughs> like I said I mean if that's the case of all oh, well because it's the crystal and crystals are notorious for channeling energy how come none of the other crystals put in the sunlight in the same spot in my hand did nothing absolutely nothing I could even go so far as to say at least one of them cold shouldered me where it felt a little colder, a, f a little cooler than the rest of them. And they were all sitting in the same spot. None of them, I mean, and we're in the desert, so it wasn't cold out. But one of them felt a little cooler than the rest. So one of them was, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and the rest of them were just like standing silent. And this one was like, hey, how you doing? I'm here. Hey, pick me, pick me. <laughs> so I did. Oh. The more I learn about crystals and crystal work and the energy manipulation as it concerns crystals, I will make another video. But as it sits, you're just getting my giddy excited video of having bought one and the story 
that went along with it. But yeah, I am very pleased, very pleased, that's all I can say, just channeling appreciation for for two reasons. One, because I really do appreciate that it picked me. I really, I mean, I super appreciate that it picked me, but also because I should probably be outside charging it right now, but I'm making a video. <laughs> So I can't do that. Uh, likewise, or should I say, also, I have to work this afternoon, so I really just don't have the time to go lounge. Oh, okay, I did have the time to go lounge, but I didn't. And as long as I can sustain it, then it's really not uh, going to be detrimental, I don't think. Because I'll be out in the sun today for at least half an hour. And from what I found out, you only really need to charge it for 20 minutes. So I was thinking an hour because I know I feel good after charging in the sun for about an hour. Uh, any longer than that, and that it overdoes it. In the desert. When I didn't live in the desert, it, it has a completely different effect because all of the sunlight's getting diffused by all the foliage and trees and whatnot. I used to live up in the woods, so being out in the sun all day long was a completely different monster up in living in the forest as opposed to living in the desert. Out here, it's like concentrate. <laughs> sunlight, now, and concentrate. <laughs> so you really only need half hour hour so I guess the, the the drive to work should be should be sufficient if I can manage to keep it in the sunlight if not then I'll just I'm off tomorrow so I'll devote at least a half an hour I'll go outside and read or something well I don't have any real good books all my books are up in storage in Michigan but that's not the point but uh, the point is I do need to charge it I mean the feeling that was expressed to me is think of the most energy I can channel at one time and it would only take up a tiny little space in here so all of that energy I'm pouring into it it's probably still starving to death <laughs> so what I need to do is I need to go outside and charge it so I will be doing that but until that happens I'm going to keep with the my own personal energy but yeah I mean yeah if you guys have a story about your first crystal purchase or you have yet to purchase a crystal let me know uh, yeah that'd be awesome I would love to hear your first crystal purchase stories because once you've purchased one it's it's how what do you say I don't know uh, and anyone skeptical of my story to think, oh, bullshit. I said the same thing about everybody else's story, so you have at it. <laughs> you put it in the comments. Rip it up and down. I don't care. Because I was there. Once you've been there and done that, nobody can say anything. I'm not even going to defend it. Why? Because I was there. She was there. We were there. It's documented. <laughs> the heavens know. The earth knows. The crystal knows. I know. <laughs> so... All I can say is go out and have your own experience. And if you didn't have the same experience purchasing one, it's probably because you picked the crystal and then went home and charged it or did whatever you were going to do with it. You didn't let it pick you. See, the difference is letting it pick you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Very good, truly good show. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, buying. Just all I did was purchase a crystal. Oh, and and a hair spiral, a cool little hair spiral. My daughter bought a hair spiral, so I bought one. They're pretty cool. <laughs> 
So yeah, I didn't just get the, the crystal. I got a cool little hair spiral. And every year probably we're going to go to, to the Renaissance Festival. And I'm going to probably try and get a crystal and another hair spiral. Because they're pretty cool. <laughs> but, sadly enough, we're getting on to the 30 minute mark. And I could go on and 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 on for hours about little fancy hair. But, I cannot because they're half hour videos. <laughs> but if you've enjoyed my video, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. And please leave a comment down below. I want to hear about your first time buying a crystal. And if you haven't bought a crystal and you want me to explain what I went through since I'm, I'm new to this. So I'm not judging you if you've never done it or if you have done it. I'm not going to judge your comment at all. But I will say that it was one of the most profound experiences I've ever had buying this little tiny fella. <laughs> Anyway, if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, then please click the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>